Starting in about two minutes, just a reminder to the audience, your number one job in here is absolute silence so they can concentrate. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the Oregon Elementary School Spelling Bee. The format of the Spelling Bee will be as follows. Each student um, will follow the same order of the Spelling Bee. Um, they will come up one at a time to spell a word that I give them. Um, those that correctly spell a word in each round will move on to the next round. Those that misspell a word will be eliminated from the bee. Some general audience reminder to ensure our participants can do the best of their ability. Please maintain absolute silence during the competition. Refrain from any applause until the end of a round. I will tell you when it's okay to clap or cheer. And remain seated until I give permission to take a brief break. Please no hints, suggestions, or help of any kind is allowed from the audience. To our contestants, uh, when I give you a word, I can offer a definition, a sentence, a part of speech, language of origin, or an alternative pronunciation. I cannot give an alternative definition, a different sentence, or a slower pronunciation. If there are not any questions, we will go ahead and begin the meeting with Mr. Eckhart. This word has a homonym, gone. Moved away from something or thither word, passed from one point to or toward another that is regarded as farther away, left or departed. Luther wanted to add cheesy bread to the takeout order, but Ronette had already gone to pick it up. Gone, G-O-N-E, gone. That is correct. Reminder, do not clap until the very end of the round, so you will clap after the very last person. Thank you. Upon. After, it, it means in a high position on, after noticing it was disappearing fast, Dad, Dad moved the candy to a spot upon the refrigerator. Upon. Upon. That is correct. Singing. The act or sound of one that produces musical tones by means of the voice. Mandy heard singing coming from the kitchen where her dad was washing dishes. Singing. Singing. S-I-N-G-I-N-G. -I -I singing. That is correct. Audience, I know you can do it. Absolutely no talking, no clapping. This word could be confused with a similar word. Oil. Any of various substances that typically are unctuous, vicious, combustible liquids or solids easily liquefiable on warming that leave a greasy, not necessarily permanent stain. Juan drizzled, drizzled olive oil on his salad and topped it with some fresh cracked pepper. Oil. Oil. Oh, I, uh, oil. That is correct. Track. Detectable evidence that something has passed, such as the wake of a ship, a line of footprints, or a wheel rut. 
Asha followed the track left by the deer in his backyard. Track. T R A C K. Track. That is correct. Slide. A chute with a flat, polished bed sloping down from the top of a mountain ladder. Kadeem's favorite part of visiting the playground was going down the slide. 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 S L I D E. Slide. That is correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. Large. Exceeding most other things of like kind and bulk, capacity, quantity, superficial dimensions, or number of cons 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 consistent units, or big. Hetty prefers large dogs because she says there is more of them to cuddle. Large. Large. L R L A R G E. Large. I'm sorry, that's not correct. This word has a homonym, plates. Shallow, usually circular vessels, as of china, wood, or plastic, from which food is eaten. Isla set the table with cups, plates, and cutlery before dinner. Plates. Plates. T-L-A-T-E-S. Plates. That's correct. This word has a homonym, cell, one of the compartments of a honeycomb. The queen bee lays one egg into each cell of a honeycomb. Cell. Cell. S-E-L-L. -L. Cell. I'm sorry, that's not correct. This word has a homonym, beak. The bill of a bird. The beak of the sword-billed hummingbird is sometimes larger than its body. Beak. Beak. B-E-A-K. Beak. That is correct. This word has a homonym. Prize. Having been awarded or being worthy of an honor or reward, striving for, for in a competitive contest. Michael will not share the recipe for his prize blueberry muffins, but he will gladly bake a batch for anyone who asks. Prize. Prize. P R I Z E. Prize. That's correct. Stopped, stood still or halted. The bus stopped at the corner. Stopped. Stop. S T O P P E D. Stop. That's correct. Turning, revolving mentally, thinking over or pondering. Mona, Moana was still turning the question of what she wanted to put uh, to put on her birthday list when she fell asleep. Turning. Turning. T U R N I N G. Turning. That's correct. This word has a homonym. Pain. A state of physical or mental lack of well-being or physical or mental uneasiness that ranges from mild discomfort or dull distress to acute, often unbearable agony. After falling off the swing, Lolly felt pain in her ankle for three days. Pain. Pain. P-A-I-N-E. Pain. I'm sorry, that's not correct. Shelter, something that covers or affords protection, especially from the elements. 
Adana listed the basic needs of human beings as food, water, shelter, clothing, and the internet. Shelter. Shelter. S H E L T E R. Shelter. That's correct. This word has a homonym, goals, the ends towards which effort or ambition is directed, aims or purposes. Thanui set her goals early in life and worked hard to achieve them. Goals. Goals. G-O-A-L-S. Goals. That's correct. This word has a homonym, floor, to knock down broadly, to silence, to defeat. The manager knew the announcement would floor the staff, so she took a few days to prepare them for the news. Floor. Floor. That's correct. Audience, please, no cheering. This word could be confused with a similar word, gushed. Poured, issued, flowed, or spouted copiously or violently, often used with forth or out. Water gushed out of the new hole in the aquarium, and Ralphie knew he'd never see his BB gun again. Gushed. Gushed. G U S H E D. Oh, gosh, sorry. That is correct. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of round one. You may now applaud. All right. Before we, before we begin round two, I do think, um, so we have 20 spellers up there that qualified for the spelling bee. We have almost 800 kids in our school. So whether you got the first out in the first round or you make it all the way to the end, uh, I think, and it's very brave and nerve wracking to get up here in front of the entire fifth and sixth grade. So I think all of our contestants deserve another round of applause. <laughs> and with that, we will begin round two. Distract our audience. We're back to level zero. Thank you. This word could be confused with a similar word, foam, a light whitish mass, mass of fine bubbles that is formed in or on the surface of liquid by agitation as of ocean waves. The ship's propeller churned the water into a foam that lingered in the wake, foam. Foam, F-O-A-N, foam. That's correct. Please, no noise. Speech, communication or expression of thoughts in spoken words. August assignment is to refute the claim that only humans have the capacity for speech. Speech. That is correct. Booth. A small enclosure designed to hold one person at a time, usually to afford privacy or to separate its occupant from patrons or customers. With the advent of cellular phones, the phone booth is mainly used today as a way for visitors to gain access to the Ministry of Magic. Booth. Booth. E O O T H. Booth. That's correct. This word could be confused with a similar word, matching. Pairing up or putting in a set as possessing equal or harmonizing attributes, combining them as being suitable. Nestor's first step in selecting an outfit for the day is matching his socks to his hoodie. Matching. Matching. L-A-D-D-A-T-C-H-I-N-G. 
That's correct. Studied, understood formal application of the mental faculties to the acquisition of knowledge of a subject or course. Keisha studied mathematics and statistics at a university. Studied. S T U D I D. Sorry, that's not correct. This word could be confused with a similar word, clutch. Asian, or it means successful in a crucial situation, clutch. Asia was famously was a famously clutch player, and everyone was confident that she would sink the last free throw. Clutch. Clutch. C L U T C H. Clutch. That's correct. China, earthenware or porcelain, porcelain tableware. As soon as Justin saw the good china out on the table, he knew he was in for a long and boring evening. China. China. C H I N A. China. That's correct. Search. An endeavor to find a, a certain, recover, or bring into view. Nadia went on a search for all of the missing socks in the house. Search. Search. S E A R C H. Search. That is correct. This word has a homonym creek. To make a prolonged grating or squeaking sound, every part of the old house would creak when the wind picked up. Creak. Creak. C R E A K. Creak. That's correct. This word has a near homonym knife. A simple instrument used for cutting, consisting of a sharp-edged, usually steel blade with a handle. Maud uses a paring knife to cut veggies. Knife. Knife. K-N-I-F-E. Knife. That's correct. This word could be confused with a similar word, found. Came upon a material object by searching or effort. After searching everywhere they could think of, they finally found the dog's favorite toy under a couch cushion. Found. Found. F-O-U-N-D, found. That's correct. Please, no applause. Tim. Blurted, uh, uttered abruptly and impulsively, divulged unadvisedly. Tyson hated it when someone blurted out the answer while he still had his hand raised. Blurted. Blurted. B-L-U-T-E-D. I'm sorry, that's not correct. Baskets. Various lightweight, usually wood containers in which berries, fruits, or vegetables are packed, shipped, or sold. Amish picked up a few basket, baskets of fresh blueberries from the farm. Baskets. Baskets. B A S K E T S. Baskets. That's correct. Focus, to concentrate attention or effort. Deirdre decided to focus her studies on early Irish poetry. Focus. Focus. F O 
of CUS focus. That's correct. Polish. To make smooth and glossy by a mechanical process, usually by friction, to give luster to. Madge would polish the silver before grandmother comes over for tea. Polish. Polish. P-O-L-I-S-H-E-D. Polish. I'm sorry, that's not correct. That is the end of round two. You may give our contestants a round of applause. <laughs> Audience, you're doing a much better job. Just a reminder, absolutely no noise. Even if it's your best friend out there, uh, do not cheer at all, please. We'll start round three with Mr. Edgar. Detail. A part of a whole, such as a small or subordinate part, an item or circumstance. Though her sister dismissed it as an insignificant detail, Jenna felt the color of the icing must be a particular shade of lilac for the mother's cake. Detail. Detail. D E T A I L. Detail. That's correct. Gusto. Vitality marked by an overabundance of healthy. Positive and often unrefined vigor and enthusiasm. Body approach painting with the gusto of one unrestrained by rules or schools of thought. Gusto. Gusto. G U S T O. Gusto. That's correct. Alas, used to express unhappiness, sorrow, pity, or concern. Melissa's grand plans for her hamster's, her, for her hamster's birthday party went, alas, terribly awry. Alas. Alas. A-L-A-S, alas. That is correct. Salad, a cooked or uncooked food prepared with a savory or piquant dressing and served and usually served cold. Inga made a delicious salad from artichoke hearts and smoked salmon. Salad. Salad. S A L A D. Salad. That's correct. Kendra. Whiskers, the long projecting hairs of bristles growing near the mouth of an animal, such as a cat or a bird. Amari's new puppy always seemed to have crumbs in its whiskers after eating. Whiskers. Whiskers. W H I S K E R S. Whiskers. That's correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. Goggles. Eye coverings resembling spectacles, but with shields at the sides and short projecting eye tubes with glass fixed in the front and used to protect the eyes. As a good luck ritual, Ahmed always adjusts his goggles 13 times before marting the starting block. Goggles. Goggles. G-O-O-G-L-E-S. Goggles. Sorry, that's not correct. Feline. Resembling or suggesting a cat in manner or quality, sleekly graceful. Graceful. Serena moved through the ballroom with feline grace. Feline. 
Feline. F E L I N E. Feline. That's correct. Reveal. To make something secret or hidden publicly known. To divulge. Marilyn made a point to dramatically reveal her birthday wish list to her parents, hoping that the extra effort and presentation would earn her an extra gift. Reveal. Reveal. R E V E A L. Reveal. That's correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. Embers, slowly cooling emotions, memories, ideas, or responses from past experiences that are still capable of being enlivened. General organa such as stoke the embers of resistance to the first order. Embers. Embers. E-M-B-E-R-S. Embers. That's correct. Aware, marked by realization, perception, or knowledge. Colin is aware that his room is messy and claims he will clean it soon. Aware. Aware. O-W-E-A-R, aware. Sorry, that's not correct. Wallet, a pocketbook that contains compartments for change, photographs, cards, and keys, and often has a snap or zipper fastener. A, pick, a pickpocket at the airport clever, cleverly snatched Remy's new leather wallet. 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 W-A-L-L-E-T. Wallet. That's correct. Texas, a state in the southern United States bordering on Mexico and the Gulf of Mexico. Austin, the capital of Texas, is known for its eclectic live music scene. Texas. Texas. T E X A S. Texas. That's correct. And ladies and gentlemen, you may give them a round of applause. That is the end of round three. Scholars at Oregon Elementary School. Another round of applause for those so indeed. All right, back to level zero, and we will start round four with Mr. Eckhart. Forty. Being one more than 39 in number, Mrs. Jen celebrated the day she turned 40 years old by going to a rock concert held inside a baseball stadium. 40. 40. F-O-R-T-Y. 40. That's correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. Wrenches, hand tools that usually consist of a bar or lever with adapted or adjustable jaws, lugs, or sockets, either at the ends or between the ends, and are used for holding, twisting, or turning bolts, nuts, screw heads, pipes, or other objects. For her birthday, Olivia asked for a new set of wrenches so she could help her dad build a swing set in their backyard. Wrenches. Wrenches. W R E N. C H E S wrenches. That is correct. This word has a near homonym. Kitchen. 
the personnel that prepares, cooks, and serves food. Knowing the president had a long day of summit talks, the kitchen sent up some of his favorite dishes for dinner. Kitchen. Kitchen. K I T C H E N. Kitchens. That's correct. This word has a near homonym. Impolite, lacking in courteous behavior, in etiquette, or in consideration of others. Jane did not want to be impolite, but she was not staying in a hotel room that smelled like a sewer. Impolite. That is correct. This word could be confused with a similar word, capture, to get control or secure domination of, to take over. Milo's plan was to capture the enemy base and then use it to launch a final devastating attack on his video game foes. Capture. Capture. C-A-P-T-U-R-E. Capture. That is correct. This word has a homonym, camera. A device that consists of a light-proof chamber with an aperture fitted with a lens and a shutter through which the image of an object is projected onto a surface for recording. The camera on Lynette's new smartphone takes extremely high-resolution photographs. Camera. Camera. C-A-M-E-R-A. Camera. That's correct. Ordinary, occurring or encountered in the usual course of events, not uncommon or exceptional, routine or normal. The artist had a knack for taking ordinary objects and turning them into works of art. Ordinary. Ordinary. O-R-D-E-I-Y? Sorry, that's not correct. This word has a near homonym, hull, the frame or body of a ship exclusive of mast, yard, sails, and rigging. When the new ship was named, a bottle of champagne was smashed on its hull. 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 H-O-L-E. Hull. Sorry, that's not correct. And we are to rosin. This word could be confused with a similar word, playlist, a official roster used for organizing a personal digital music collection. Arun has a playlist of classical music to listen to while studying. Playlist. Playlist. P-L-A-Y-L-I-S-T. Playlist. That is correct. Trickster, a dishonest person who defrauds or cheats others by the practice of crafty, underhand ingenuity. A skilled trickster, Sonia, conned her sister into giving her the largest piece of cake. Trickster. Trickster. T R I C K S T E R. Trickster. That is correct. <laughs> And with that, we finish round four with our top eight scholars that are in the school. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've been through four rounds. We are going to take a quick stretch break. If you'd like to pass the seat to get a drink and use the restroom, we will resume at 1.53.
Hey, if anybody is out. <laughs> Contestants. Remember, I can give you, I am giving you the definition, I am using it in a sentence. You could ask me to give the part of the speech, the language of origin, or an alternative pronunciation if there is any. A reminder, I can't give an alternate definition, a different sentence, or to give a slower pronunciation. Um, and remember, just to take your time and do your best, okay? Uh, we're all very proud of you all. Take your time, do your best. You have you all done a very great job today. And we will start round five with Mr. Dave Decker.
This word has a homonym, dire, demanding immediate action to fend off disastrous consequences, exigent or urgent. The school was in dire need of a technology upgrade. The computers still used floppy disks. Dire. Dire. D I E R. Dire. Sorry, that's not correct. Audience, no talking, please. Sitcom, a radio or television comedy series that involves a continuing cast of characters in a succession of unconnected episodes. The popular sitcom focused on the lives of six friends living in the same apartment building. Sitcom. That is correct. This word has a homonym, indie. Something such as a record or a film produced by an unaffiliated company. You've probably never heard of my favorite film, Step the Hipster. It's an indie. 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 I N D I E N D. That is correct. Scrolls. Causes text or graphics on a display screen to move vertically or horizontally, usually in one line or column at a time, as if by unrolling a long strip. Used as the body of a written document, Henry often loses track of the time while he scrolls on his phone. Scrolls. Scrolls. That is correct. Detect. To discover or determine the existence, presence, or fact of. As Jennifer kept her room very organized, she was quick to detect that her favorite teddy bear was missing. Detect. Detect. D E T E C T. Detect. That is correct. Judges, we're going to go straight to 85. This could be confused with a similar word. Eyesore. Something offensive to the sight. The abandoned house with its broken windows and peeling paint was an eyesore in the otherwise well-maintained neighborhood. Eyesore. Eyesore. E-Y-E-S-O-R-E. Eyesore. That's correct. Scarf, a piece of cloth made in varying widths and lengths and worn for decoration or worn across the shoulders, around the neck, over the head, or above the waist. Tasha wrapped the scarf more tightly around her neck to help keep the wind at bay. Scarf. Scarf. S-C-A-R-F. Scarf. That's correct. Pineapple, the fruit of a the fruit of a type of tropical plant that consists of the juicy, fleshy flowering and that ripens into a solid mass invested with the tough, persistent floral bracts and crowned with a tuft of small leaves. Unlike many other fruits, a pineapple will not continue to ripen after being harvested. Pineapple. Pineapple. P-I-N-E-A-P-P-L. Pineapple. That is correct. And with that, that is the end of round five. We are down to seven remaining spellers.
Now the top of the order will be Madeline. So Madeline, come on down for round six. Hedgehog. Any of several nocturnal old world, old world mammals that have hair mixed with prickles or spines and are able to roll themselves up so as to present the spines outwardly in every direction. Excited to see a hedgehog in her garden, Prudence set up a night vision motion sensor camera to capture its activities. Hedgehog. Hedgehog. A, B, D, G, H, I, O, G. Hedgehog. That is correct. Nile, a river 4,160 miles long in eastern Africa, flowing from Lake Victoria to Uganda north into the Mediterranean Sea in Egypt. Generally considered the longest river in the world, the Nile has been critical for trade, transportation, and crop irrigation in Egypt for thousands of years. Nile. Do I have to capitalize the end? You do not have to. Nile. N I L E. Nile. That is correct. Inclined. Bent the head or body forward. Bowed. The father inclined his head over the crib, checking that the baby was a sleeping safe and sound. Inclined. Inclined. I am. She. L. A. I am. Inclined. Sorry, that's not correct. Squints, looks, suspicious, looks suspiciously or with envy, malice, or disapproval. When Daisy's father is disappointed with her grades, he squints at them for a long time. Squints. Squints. S-Q-U-I-N-T-S. Squints. That is correct. Wardrobe, a room or closet where clothes are kept or stored. Callista screamed when her brother jumped out of the wardrobe. 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 W A R D R O B E. Wardrobe. That is correct. Irregular. Failing to accord with what is usual, proper, accepted, or right. When the entire class wore their clothes backwards on Friday, the teacher could tell that something highly irregular was afoot. Irregular. 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 I R R E A U L G E R. Irregular. Sorry, that's not correct. Texture, the visual or tax, tactile surface characteristics and appearance of something. My love the texture of silk so much that she asked for silk pillowcases for her birthday. Texture. Texture. T-E-X-T-U-R-E. Texture. That is correct. <laughs> And at the end of round six, we are now down to our top five spellers at Oregon Elementary School. But we will start round seven with Madeline right now.
cringed, drew back in fear or servility. Elaine always cringed when her teacher started getting angry with the class. Cringed. That is correct. Wizard, a genius or prodigy, especially in a particular field or endeavor. Daivya has the reputation of being the class's math wizard. 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 W-I-Z-A-R-D. Wizard. That is correct. Audience, now more than ever, it is absolutely important that you are at a level zero as they work here harder. They need to be able to concentrate as much as they can. Vibrant, pulsating with life, vigor, or activity. The nurse had a vibrant personality that could cheer even the most despondent patient. Vibrant. Vibrant. V I B R A N T. Vibrant. That is correct. S'mores, desserts consisting usually of toasted marshmallow and pieces of chocolate bar sandwiched between two graham crackers. Frida's favorite part of the summer was roasting marshmallows or s'mores with her family. S'mores, S-M-O-R-E-S, s'mores. That is correct. Basically, in fundamental disposition or nature, Alistair had always believed that people were basically decent, but then he met the cousins on his mother's side. Basically. Basically. E A S I C L L Y. Basically. Sorry, though, you're not good. <laughs> Audience. And at the end of round seven, we are now moving down to our final four spellers. Anybody need a break? All right, we are going to start round seven. Audience? Jamestown, a ruined village in eastern Virginia, southwest of Williamsburg, on the James River, the first permanent English settlement in America, settled in 1607. If you visit Jamestown these days, you'll see a lovely but inaccurately dressed statue of Pocahontas, Jamestown. You do not. That is correct. <laughs> this word could be confused with a similar word. Ogre. A hideous giant represented in fairy tales and folklore as feeding on human beings, a monster. Chow wrote a tale about an ogre who lived under a bridge and feasted on every tenth person who crossed. Ogre. Ogre. O-G-R-E. Ogre. That is correct. We are to 
caverns. Underground chambers, often large or indefinite in extent. A team of spelunkers is making an attempt to map the entire system of caverns. 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 C A V E R N S. Caverns. That is correct. Fidgeting, tinkering or playing nervously or absently, used with, with. The nervous substitute teacher was constantly fidgeting with his collar, a quirk the students were quick to imitate. Fidgeting. Fidgeting, F-I-D-G-E-T-I-N-G. Fidgeting. That is correct. With that, all four spellers will be moving on to round eight. In round eight, we'll kind of go over the end of the spelling bee procedure if we happen to get there. The end of the, the end of the spelling bee will be as follows. All spellers that correctly spell a word in each round will remain in the spelling bee as has been occurring. If only one speller correctly spells a word in a round, the remaining speller will be given another word, a championship word. If that championship word is spelled correctly, they would be crowned the champion of the spelling bee. If the word is incorrectly spelt, all those spellers remaining in the B at the beginning of the round at the beginning of the round will remain in the B. This procedure will continue until a champion is crowned. Any questions on the end of the spelling bee, ladies? Okay. If with that, we'll begin round eight. This word could be confused with a similar word. Dependable, it means trustworthy. When hiring companies look for dependable employees who will complete their work on time. Dependable. 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 That is correct. This word has a homonym, weird, curious in nature or appearance of strange or extraordinary character, odd or unusual. Most episodes of Sherlock begin with a weird or puzzling event, weird. Weird, W-E-I-R-D, weird. That is correct. Lavished, expended or bestowed with profusion, used with prodigality, squandered. Monique Lavish preys on her puppy for catching the frisbee. Lavished. Lavished. L-A-V-I-S-H-E-D. Lavished. That is correct. Cobblestone, a smooth, rounded rock, larger than a pebble and smaller than a boulder, once commonly used in paving a street and in other construction. The carriage horse stumbled over a loose cobblestone. 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 C O B E L E S T O N E. Cobblestone. That is correct. All four spellers again will move on to round nine. It is 
time now, we will take a four and a half minute break and resume at 218. And if you test it, you need a drink or any drink, you need rest with you, maybe so. that there's absolutely no noise before, during, or after the spelling. Um, the words, are, as you've noticed, um, do get a little bit longer, a little more tricky, so they need to be able to focus to the best of their abilities. Um, as I continue to say, it's not easy getting in front of a group of people and talking on a microphone. Um, and all 20 spellers did a great job today. 
Um, and those telling the bee are doing a wonderful job taking their time and spelling some pretty tricky words. So we will start round nine. The same rules will apply. Uh, if we do reach the end of the spelling bee, the procedure we described earlier, uh, we will continue this until we have a champion. So we will begin round nine with Adeline. Scrawny, lean, thin, raw boned, ill nourished. Rob spent weeks nursing the scrawny puppy back to health. Scrawny. Scrawny. S C R A W N Y. Scrawny. That's correct. This word has a homonym. Mutual, shared in common, enjoyed by each, or common. William and his new neighbor quickly discovered that they had a mutual friend. Mutual. Mutual. M. L. T. U. A. L. Mutual. That is correct. Neptune, a planet eighth in order from the sun, used in astronomy. With winds that surpass 1,200 miles per hour, Neptune is easily the windiest planet in our solar system. Neptune. Neptune. N E P T U N E. Neptune. That is correct. Alibi. The plea of having been elsewhere at the time an act was committed. To support his alibi, Dick showed a video he made during his trip to Hawaii. Alibi. Alibi. A L I B I. Alibi. That is correct. And with that, for the fourth straight round, I believe we have all four spellers now going to the tenth round. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, just to make a note at how impressive uh, these spellers have been, I'm now on the 112th word on my list. So another round of applause for the top four spellers. And round 10 will begin with Miss Madeline. This word could be confused with a similar word. Invasions, hostile entrances or armed attacks on the property or territory of another for conquest or plunder. The Nazi invasions of neighboring countries were terrifyingly swift. Invasions. Invasion. I am you. A. S. I. A. N. S. Invasion. I'm sorry, that's not correct. Adorned. Decorated. Added to the pleasantness, attractiveness, splendor, or beauty of. His shoes were polished, his hat was well brushed, and a lace handkerchief adorned his breast pocket. Adorned. Adorned. A D O R N E D. Adorned. That is correct. Telescope. 
an optical instrument for viewing distant objects by means of refraction of light rays through a lens. Jorge watched the lunar eclipse through the telescope. 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 T-E-L-E-S-C-O-P-E. Telescope. That is correct. Surrounded, formed a ring around. The trees surrounded the cabin and gave it a peaceful, secluded feeling. Surrounded. Surrounded. S U R R O U N D E D. Surrounded. That is correct. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. We are now down to our final three spellers. <laughs> Round 11 will now begin with Reagan. Juneteenth. The 19th day of the sixth month of the year, observed as a general holiday, especially in Texas, in celebration of the anniversary of the emancipation of slaves in the state. Every year, the town celebrated Juneteenth with a parade, a festival, and a concert. Juneteenth. Juneteenth. J U N E T E E N T H G N T. That is correct. Sardine. Any of several small or immature fish that are suitable for preserving for food. Destiny's cat, Mr. Picky Pants, refuses to eat unless Destiny tops his cat kibbles with a finely diced sardine. Sardine. S A R D I N E. Sardine. That is correct. Orientation. The act of determining one's bearings or settling one's sense of direction. The hikers use a map and a compass of orientation prior to set a, setting out on the trail. Orientation. Could you repeat the word? Orientation. Orientation. O R E N T A T I O N. Orientation. Sorry, that's not correct. <laughs> And with that, we are down to our final two spellers. Give it up for everybody. So we're up. We, we will remind everybody of the end of the spelling bee procedure. It's going to work just like this now that we're down to two spellers. All spellers, so both spellers will remain um, in as long as they continue to spell a word correctly. If only one of the two remaining spellers correctly spells a word, the one remaining speller will be given an extra word, a championship word. If the championship word is spelled correctly, they will then be the champion of the beat. If the one remaining speller incorrectly spells the championship word, both spellers will remain in the beat. We will continue this procedure until a champion is crowned. This word could be confused with a similar word, decimal, subdivided into tenth or one hundredth units. The U.S. uses a system of decimal coinage with each dollar divided into one hundred cents. Decimal. Can you repeat the definition, please? Subdivided into tenth or one hundredth units. 
that's wrong. D E T I M A L. That's wrong. That is correct. Dingoes, wild dogs of Australia with a wolfish face, bushy tail, and usually a reddish brown color. One of the longest structures in the world is a fence that, is construct that was constructed in Australia in the late 19th century to keep sheep flocks safe from dingoes. 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 G-O-S, Sorry, that's not correct. For Reagan, you will have a chance for a championship word, so please come up here. Archduke. A, so a sovereign prince, specifically a prince of the imperial family of Austria. The most famous archduke is probably Franz Ferdinand, whose assassination was the immediate cause of World War I. Archduke. Archduke. A R C H D U K E. Archduke. That is correct, and Reagan is our final champion. Will you stand right now? We're going to get a picture of each uh, of the two finalists.